how to boost your thigh slimming process, how to see those changes, and how to make the fat burning process happen even faster. Hello Lily Student Family, welcome back to another video. I hope you're all doing well. I hope you're all doing good and if you're new here, hello my name's Kimberly and I hope you subscribe. Turn your bell notifications on to get notified every single time that I upload and give this video a massive thumbs up to be a part of my weight loss journey family. But as you guys can tell from the title of today's video, I'm going to be talking about how you can burn thigh fat faster. Don't forget to come over and follow me on my inspirational fitness page on Instagram as well as my podcast page as well. It's part of my thigh slimming routine. They've recommended a lot of Chloe Ting, Lily Sabri, Emmy Wong videos that so many of you guys are using and the videos that I have recommended to you guys you guys have been DMing me like crazy telling me how much you're seeing results using those videos and that you were stuck before that they're really really helping and for those who are ASA beginners or have been doing it for a while or not seeing results as fast this is my guide to you to make sure that you're getting the most and best possible results and routine to burn fat the fastest using these workouts. So in this video we're really going to be talking about how to boost your thigh slimming process, how to see those changes and how to make the fat burning process happen even faster. So say you've got your Chloe Ting or you've sat down and got your Lily Sabri or Emmy Wong video. If you want to see which ones I specifically recommend, I will tag the videos that I used or just go back on my channel. I uploaded them about a few weeks ago and they're so so helpful for the ones that have really really helped me throughout my journey. Now when you're doing these workouts I want to give you guys the one for one one on how to really arrange this and make sure that you're getting the full most effective fat burning process for your thighs because you can be doing doing any type of workout again and again and again and not seeing results if you're not doing it the most effective and efficient way possible. Now you know I always add this as a little disclaimer that 80% of your weight loss will always come down to food. Now I don't want you guys to be going ham on these workouts like so many people are so set and dedicated on these workouts at the moment and if your food is not right you will not see results. Your nutrients is going to be what grows your muscle, it's going to be what helps you in this process so especially when it comes to fat burning you can't can't be feeding your muscles McDonald's expecting them to be growing and working at their most efficient to be burning that fat so remember that don't forget that before we move into the next part of this video. Next thing something that I don't emphasize quite enough is that you need to be making sure you're doing warm-ups. The importance of a warm-up is that warming up is so important because it's almost as if you're preheating the oven and your muscles are going to have the right burning strategies as soon as you start your workout to then have the whole effective period of time to do that burning process process. When you don't warm up for example you'll use half the workout while your muscles are warming themselves up before it even uses the maybe the last few minutes to then start the full effective burning process. So when you warm up activate your muscles straight away so that minute one on that video you're already using more activated warmed muscles. So remember how effective your warm ups and warm downs are to keep your muscles activated. Tip number one make sure that you're incorporating these videos every single day and have one to two rest days. The reason why I always say this is because it's important to try and incorporate a routine to not only allow your body to build up that resilience, build up that tolerance for having a routine, but also for an effective fat burning process, your body wants to see that momentum. If I have a really, really intense, you know, CrossFit session on Monday, if I don't do that again for a week, my results are going to be so much slower. So it's really about weighing up who's going to get faster results, someone who's incorporating every single day with a few rest days, increasing that momentum, increasing that muscle usage, that muscle burn, or someone who's not doing it very often, once a week, maybe twice a week. So although we have really, really busy schedules, I always say do make sure that you're at least doing it five to six times a week. I mean, they're 10 minute videos, so how badly do you want it? Tip number two is to make sure that you're going on some sort of cardio routine after that. I always say after the workout, I might do a 10 minute jog after, or I might go on the treadmill uh, for 30 minutes. It's absolutely freezing and pouring at the moment, so I end up buying a treadmill earlier in the summer to prepare for the winter so I can still have my cardio runs, my cardio routines day to day because I didn't want to lose that momentum. So again, remember to incorporate some form of cardio. What this really does is it helps shred back the fat. I always say that, you know, you can build up your muscle, but in order to really get that fat moving and moving away from your body faster, you want to really, really be incorporating a cardio to help that fat shake
take away even faster. So cardio needs to go with your muscle training and make that as light as a 20 minutes, 10 minute jog, anything between that, even if it's a skipping or jumping sort of action. Tip number three is to make sure that the video that you're doing is tailored to the right level. Now, you have seen in a lot of my reviews that I say some of the Chloe Ting routines are a lot easier. And I would say that for any beginner, someone who's midway through or anything like that. So if you really, really want to get that burn and make sure that you're getting the most out of your fat burning process, you need to make sure that you're choosing a Lily Sabri, Chloe Ting or Emmy Wong, which one is going to be hard enough for you to break a sweat and really see those results. In terms of tracking results, I would say give about a week, a week and a half. If you're not seeing any sort of results or if you haven't felt a single burn in the whole time, that video or that specific person's workouts are probably way too easy for you and you need to find one that's going to give you a much harder burn. So I would honestly say jumping straight to Lily Sabri or Emmy Wong because they're a little bit harder than Chloe Ting is probably going to be the best advice for you if you're a beginner and you really really want to see that fat burn. Tip number four and that is to make sure that if you want to even increase the fat burn process even more to do your workouts weighted. Now this could be with a resistance band, this can be with at home weight, it could even be with an at home appliance that has a bit of weight. You know you can buy a weighted pillow, all these types of things. When you do your workouts weighted especially when you're incorporating it into these routines. Say Lily Sabri says okay right I want now want you to do you know of sumo squats. If you're doing those sumo squats weighted you've automatically increase the burn by tenfold and when you incorporate that all throughout that 10 minute routine you've increased the fat burning process by so much. Remember fat burning doesn't just happen throughout the routine it happens even in our sleep when we're doing other things so when you're doing the workout weighted that 10 minute workout you're really already increasing the burn by tenfold. This could be something to work up towards. If you're someone who's just starting out trying to find your feet you don't have to feel like you have to go all in and 100% be able to smash the workout straight away with weighted. You can work up towards this but doing it weighted is the next level up to wanting to see that fat burning process happen especially when it comes to your thighs because thighs can be so stubborn so anything where you're increasing it or leveling up increasing intensity is so important because it doesn't mean that you know go and do 50 more lunges every single time you see the Lily Sabi video incorporating lunges it means maybe just go for you need to go on that run afterwards for 10 minutes you need to do something weighted you need to do more repetitions of the harder movements within that video but it doesn't mean you know, the squat challenge that says by day 50 you need to be doing 5,000 squats not necessarily in that way and it never has to be that quantity but increasing intensities is so crucial to getting that fat burning process to happen even faster another tip for making sure that you're boosting up the fat burning process as much as you can is being able to recognize when your body has just gotten too used to it now this is extremely crucial because you might think you don't have the right ingredients you don't have the right workouts you don't have the right your body just doesn't feel that strain enough anymore to make that significant shift of losing those pounds of shredding that fat burning the fat even faster your body wants to keep leveling up gradually and if it doesn't feel that strain anymore you need to find how you can make that shift to make it more intensive more burning more challenging for yourself but gradually increase your intensity find elements that way you're using and burning different parts of your thighs different parts of your legs remember that rotation is so crucial to keep Keep all the muscles activated because when they burn and burn the fat they can burn all in unison whereas if you're just focusing on the quads you're just focusing on a specific area you're not going to be burning as effectively as you possibly could so yeah I want to swing it all the way back to nutrition now you guys know I spoke about if you're having McDonald's or feeding your muscles McDonald's is it really going to work in the same way as someone who's eating a high protein high lean food it's not just about what those foods have in them but it's about how they actually react within the body to help all these processes happen whether it's deficit, whether it's metabolism, whether it's increasing your metabolic rate, whether it's increasing your fat burning process, someone who's eating leaner is going to get better results because not only are you reducing your body fat percentage, but your muscles are working more effectively, they're sharper, they're faster. That's why athletes have such specific diets or food routines because those are the ones that feed the muscles better when you're doing your home workouts. You've got your home workout and you're doing your home work workouts, whether it's Chloe Ting and Lee Sabri, Emmy Wong, make sure five 
finding ways to make your workouts five to six times a week. Make sure you're incorporating your rest days so your muscles have enough time to readjust and work harder when you come back to it. Make sure your food is right. Make sure that you're not doing workouts that are too easy for your body and you're really gonna have to use your inner gauge to work out whether it's too easy or you know giving you the right amount of burn. Use your visual as a response as to whether you're seeing changes. Use clothes to try and fit and see if you're seeing those inches go down. You're really really gonna have to use these scales and charters to track. Is it being effective for you? Are you utilizing everything? If you have to increase it, use ankle weights. Ankle weights are fantastic to add to a home workout to just boost that effectivity of it even even more. I hope you guys have found this video helpful. That is how I make sure that I'm getting the most out of the fat burning process while doing these Lily, Sabri, Chloe, Ting and Emmy Wong videos and to make sure that it's really really working for me. Now, I hope you guys have the best thigh slimming journey and keep me updated because so many of you guys keep me updated over the DMs and don't forget to subscribe, turn your bell notifications on to get notified every single time that I upload because we upload three times a week and give this video a massive thumbs up. Don't forget to come over and follow me on my inspirational fitness page on Instagram as well as my podcast page as well. Now I love you guys so much. I'll see you guys very very soon. Bye guys!